Welcome, Harry, here you are at last! Careful, Harry. I think he's lost it. Lost it? What? No, 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 no. Not the great Gilderoy Lockhart. It's just that now is the time to end this little adventure. See? I shall go back to the school, tell them it was too late to save the girl, and that you both tragically lost your minds at the sight of her dead body. Oh, no. I know what he's going to do. He's going to try and hit us with one of his memory charms. Yes, indeed. The famous Lockhart memory charm. I'm sorry, boys, but it is for the best. Hey, guys, and welcome back to the Harry Potter Chamber Secrets on the PlayStation 1 walkthrough. It's part 21, and now we're battling against Gilder Lockhart. He's actually surprisingly easy. I remember when I first played this game, it was quite hard. I have to tell you that, but he is actually quite easy. It's just the same with any boss battle, just that you've got some memory charms, special jinxes you get from those boxes over there, if your door hits them, that is. So, yeah, we're finally going to get back at Gildor Lockhart and he's stuck. That's funny. And he's down soon. Down soon. Now. And he's down now. Now. Okay? Ron! Yes, I'm through here, I'm fine! Lockhart isn't though. He got blasted by his own memory charm. What are we going to do now? Well, we can't get through this lot, it'll take ages. There's only one thing to do. You wait here and I'll go on. Ginny's been down here for hours and if we waste any more time, it might be too late. Okay, Harry. I'll start trying to shift some of this rock so you can get back through. So now we're going to leave Ron and Gilder Lockhart there, and Harry is going to go on his own into the Chamber of Secrets. This is not a task that everyone would have liked to have done. Sorry about that sound. Now here's the potion, here's a cauldron so you can mix the potion so you can get more health at the start. You also get one of these at the end as well before you go to the boss battle. So that's pretty useful. So, I would suggest that you use this. Um, now, the voice, the basilisk voice, the basilisk voice is going to talk sometimes when you go through the doors in here. If it haven't talked already. It might have already talked, actually. But it's going to talk. So, we're here in this cave. And there are some enemies down here and stuff. It's going to talk now. Yeah, I guess I talk there. I can't hear because I turned off the sound, of course. So we've got some snails, so we're going to use Incendio on them. And you actually still get house points as well, which is quite funny. But it's great to get house points, of course, so we can win the house cup. And we're going to keep going through. Even though this is a cave, they still have doors. Which is great, as always. And there's rats as well. Of course, we're under a cave, so of course there's going to be snails, slugs, I mean, and rats here. But they're gigantic, gigantic snails. I mean, rats. So we've, we've dealt with worse enemies than these, though. They aren't that hard enemies in the game, but still have dealt with the worse. The music that I just played there is so beautiful. It's actually the theme music for Chamber Secrets game on the PlayStation 2. But you see there's four doors down here and there's also four platforms. So you have to go through all the doors 
through all the tunnels and when you get to the end you'll basically be able to race one of the platforms. You have to race all four of the platforms and then you can get up, go through the door and then go to the chamber secrets. So we're going to go through all of the doors in this part and that is pretty much everything we're going to do. And then in the next part we're going to go to the chamber secrets and battle the basilisk, spoiler, and um, also watch the final cutscenes and also the uh, credits at the end. That's what is happening in the next part and that is going to be the last part of this walkthrough. No extra parts for doing extra things. There are some extra things though. Something that bo bothers me a bit is that we haven't done any of the founder duels in this game. You can do them if you want to. It bothers me a little bit that I haven't even showed you it. But win all four of them and you can go into the secret found a tower and there is going to be a secret. It has It's actually not that special but it's still pretty cool though. So you can go there and get a secret. You can do that if you want to, I'm not going to do it. And that's the first platform raised. So you can do that if you want to. And you can also get the whistle cards. Oh, sorry, I just... <laughs> You can also get the wizard cards if you haven't got all of them, which I haven't, because the the gnome throwing thing in Hagrid's garden when it's snowy outside is really hard. I find it really hard, and you have to hit all of the things to get extra points as well, all of the objects to get extra points, and I just can't. I just can't do that. It's too hard for me. Going to lift this up, drop it here, and then we can fall down. And here we get to a troll cave. I did say in the Forbidden Forest that we would have more troll bits and sneaking bits this is pretty much it this is the last thing um i have to tell you i failed a lot i failed a lot at this i've never failed at this bit with the troll things and the sneaking but i did fail this time around so that cut that you saw just back there I can't because I failed many, many, many times, so I just can't so that I could go to a place where I actually did it, managed to do it. And I think that is the best thing because you don't want to watch like 20 minutes extra of me trying to get past these trolls. Yeah, I'm being serious, 20 minutes. It was pretty hard and tough. And it was really, really annoying that I actually failed this on camera. On recording, I mean, but I did manage to get through it at the end, of course. So that is a lesson to be learned. Don't quit, keep going, and you'll eventually make it. So this is the way I did it. Just run past here, and the camera went dodgy, and then go here. And there's going to be another troll here. One time, when I recorded this, I actually made it pause, and then I got caught by that... Um, troll because I couldn't remember it. So just go in here and wait for the troll to go past and then it will follow it. Make sure you don't get caught here. Going past here. And then you get to this platform. You're supposed to go on that button and then use it to get on the plat because when you step on it the platform will race. So you have to get on the platform as well. So just do it like this and you'll do it. And here's another button to get the second platform raised. It was four platforms weren't there. I think it might actually have been just three platforms. Yeah, only three platforms. Well. Only three ones. I said four. Sorry, there's three doors, I believe, and there's three platforms. And there's a knight, and he's obviously going to stand there, not 
going to attack us. It's just like with the big knight in Fierce Stone at the end. Just that this one isn't... It doesn't take that long to kill this one. Just keep casting Flipendo. You don't have to wait for him to do something and then you'll be able to hit him. You just keep hitting him and you'll kill him like this. And he's down for the taking. Now, a rock will drop and what you're supposed to do is make it go that way and make a um, powered up spell. Like that. No. Like that. And it will go into the hole. And then another rock will drop here and you can fall down. And you're supposed to use Verdamelius here so you can get through. Like so. And you get to this place where there's more platforms, more knights. There's a knight here that you're going to take out. These are very simple to take out though. So don't be worried. So we got 75 house points for Gryffindor. It's great. Think we'll be able to win the house cup. It's not that hard to lose it though. It's no, I mean it's very hard to lose the house cup in this game. The only Harry Potter game that I found really, really hard to actually win is in Chamber of Secrets on PlayStation 2. And the other games, it's just really easy to win. In some of the game, actually, you can't lose. So yeah. Where's the button? Here's the bird in millions. And we're through here. Yeah, another place with more knights. Of course, there is more to do. Now, obviously, this is the second to last part. The next part is the last part of the entire walkthrough. I've actually really enjoyed it, despite my three... I think it was three-month break. Three-month break, which is not good to do when you're left playing on YouTube. Just completely go away and take a break. But I needed to take a break for private reasons which I'm not going to go into here but just trust me when I say that I actually do really need it do really need need it to take a break here's the last button step on thing and then that's the last um, platform raised and um, you've probably been able to hear it but um, I've got a little bit of cold and that makes my voice sound Harsh and masculine, sorry about that. It's just, yeah. And here's another cauldron so you can get more potion to drink and get more health before we get into the boss battle and everything. So that's great to do. And now we're going to drink the potion and we're going to go up the platforms and go into the Chamber of Secrets. And that's the end of this part. Hopefully you join me in the next part for the last part where we battle the Basilisk. See you then.